What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time uh, watching one of my videos, I definitely appreciate you guys uh, coming and checking me out. My name is Harrison, um, and today we're going to be talking about uh, the lack of kind of PS5 exclusive, PS5 launch titles. Is that going to deter you away from uh, getting a PS5 day one, granting that you can actually get one? Um, we still don't know. Uh, well, we assume that uh, supplies will be limited due to, due to uh, the COVID-19 and all that good stuff. But um, assuming you can get one, are you going to get one? Um, you know, we just had the uh, the the reveal of the PS5. Um, it looks it looks cool. Uh, we got a look at uh, Spider-Man, um, Miles Morales, which is kind of like a standalone expansion, a la um, Lost Legacies for Uncharted. Um, so it's probably probably a forty dollar game, maybe sixty. I'm not really sure. Um, but if it's something on that line, I'm gonna assume it's probably gonna be forty. But other than that, that's kind of all we have for the PS5, right? I mean, I'm assuming there's going to be some other launch titles that we don't know about yet, uh, but that's kind of it. Um, now, a, little, a brief history about me. Uh, Xbox is probably my preferred platform. Um, I'm, I mainly get PlayStation products uh, months or a year after they initially release, just because I wait. On, I wait on those first-party games and I want to play those, so I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the console. Uh, regardless, but it's not usually a day one, uh, day one for me because mainly because so the two controllers I prefer the Xbox controller. If I could have the Xbox controller on the PS4, PS5, I would be set because I, I mean the PS5, PS4, Sony has killed it with their exclusives in the last couple of years with Spider-Man, uh, Last of Us, uh, one and two. Um, I mean God of War, a uh, tons of good stuff. Horizon, I mean they, they've killed it. They've blown. Microsoft and Xbox completely out of the water with their first party exclusives. Uh, you know, Microsoft have or Xbox has Gears of War, Halo, um, and some other stuff, but I mean, they just get killed when it comes to the first party games. Now, we don't know what it looks like next month when Microsoft and Xbox are going to reveal uh, their first party lineup. Um, not necessarily the launch, but their first party stuff uh, next month. So we'll see. Um, that's why I'm still on board with the Series X versus the PS5 because of Game Pass. I think Game Pass is a no-brainer. I think it sells consoles. I mean, we're getting Halo 6, Halo Infinite day one with with Game Pass, and that is incredible. I mean, you get awesome titles such as Gears Gears 5. We've got a ton of great stuff with Game Pass, and it's just it's killed Tony, um, in my opinion. Um, and I think looking towards this generation, I think Microsoft in general has been very um, upfront. Phil Spencer with with the backwards compatibility stuff, with uh, controllers being able to be used on the new console. That way, you don't have to focus on buying tons of new peripherals, which is awesome. That's kind of like the big thing. I mean, controllers are expensive—60, 70, 80 bucks. Um, if you're a Nintendo's case, um, I love the Pro controller. By the way, it's just—it's expensive, but it's—I mean, it's a nice controller. But yeah, I just want to know kind of like this, the stats on people and what their opinions are about the PS5. I, mean, I know we, we were waiting for the reveal, um, and I, I feel like their their showcase did a really great job of what's to look forward to to come in the next few years with you know with Horizon, and, uh, Demon Souls, all that good stuff. But day one, I want to know what that looks like. Like I said, for me, it's definitely the Xbox as of right now. I mean, you get Halo for free day one i mean that's assuming we know the assuming the prices of these consoles uh anywhere between 400 to 600 bucks i mean you you, you buy the xbox series x for 500 bucks or whatever it's going to be you get a lot ton of games for free any first parts any first party exclusives that are coming out day one you're going to play for free with game pass um and, and i use the firm free lightly the term free lightly i should say uh because you're, you're paying for the service. You're paying 15 bucks a month for, for live and for Game Pass. But, I mean, you're getting Halo Infinite, like the, the biggest the biggest launch game uh, right now. Um, and I, I just don't know if Spider-Man um, is going to do it. I mean, I, I'm, I just played through Spider-Man, and I, I thought it was an absolutely incredible game. My, my favorite superhero, hero game, whatever, 
comic book game of all time. It's it's absolutely incredible, and I'm looking so much forward to um, Spider-Man um, Miles Morales. But it not being like a true sequel, I don't know if that's gonna be big enough to justify you know a five hundred six hundred dollar console purchase. And it, it and the rumors are saying that the PS5 is gonna be more expensive than the Series X. Um, it's just all speculative, but that's the rumors. Um. I want to know what y'all's opinion is. I want to know what system you're going to buy. Uh, are you waiting for Microsoft's uh, showcase next month? Or are you already sold on the Series X with the combination of Game Pass? Or did the PS5 kind of blow you out of the water, out of the water and hype you enough up to get the PS5 on launch day? Um, but yeah, um, if you if you like the video, give it a, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like, all that good stuff. Um, leave a comment below uh, on what console you are planning to get, or are you going to wait? Um, that's always an option as well. And um, if you kind of like these style of videos, I really kind of love doing these style of videos where it's just me talking, um, just in front of camera, no other you know videos or anything like that. Uh, just I, I just enjoy that kind of stuff. Um, also, if you I, I stream, um, I'm going to start streaming every Tuesday, Wednesday, and possibly Thursday of the week. Um, and you can follow me over at twitch.tv slash atomic reptar 92. And, um, on Mondays I record a podcast with my brother called gaming with the bros. And we do that every Monday, 8 30, um, Eastern time. And, uh, we just talk about all the, the news and stuff and what we've been playing for the week. And it's, it's a lot of fun. Love doing it with my brother. Um, so yeah, thanks you guys for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.